Ashley was a sassy 10-year-old. Bow tie, suspenders, she had her own home way of being. She woke up one morning feeling chest pain and she collapsed in my bedroom. She went into heart failure. We were placed in the waiting list for a heart transplant. During the surgery, she went into cardiac arrest. Then she suffered a major stroke. They actually sat me down three times and they said that she's probably not gonna uh, have vision, be able to speak again, or remember who she is or who her family, friends are. What do you want us to do? I said, just give her time. She's, you know, she's my child and I don't wanna give up. For Ashley, she came to us at truly the lowest point in her life with very little ability. She was not able to breathe on her own. She was fed with a tube. She had almost no movement. She had no way to communicate. Initially, we worked with her just communicating yes and no, and then those same switches could develop into more communication. Then she was able to move through her world and learn to drive a power wheelchair. Afterwards, we went into the iPad, which helped her with basically being herself, being able to express herself until she regained her speech. Now she is back at home. She's eating on her own. She's breathing on her own. She's continuing to learn and to grow and to make advances. She tells her, her therapist, you need to get me to walk because I need to walk my dog. We'll get there. Now she's focused on getting there and she usually meets her goals. At her age, you know, with social media and, and being involved with everything that goes around, she's, she's being a normal child. Her family has really made it happen for her and she's now a, a thriving 13-year-old. We never know when we reach full potential. We just keep looking for the next step. Her sassy's coming back, her, her personality, Ashley's coming back.